Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna be looking at AI. If you know me, you know I'm deeply interested in AI, so I think this will be an interesting and fun video to make. In this video, I'm specifically gonna be focusing on one topic. AI is a huge tech topic with many different branches, therefore it deserves many different videos. In this video, I want to look in the audio part of it, especially voice sampling. This video will come. What is voice sampling? How does voice sampling work? A track of an imitation of my voice? How it could be used? Advantages and disadvantages? And a quick tutorial on how you can create your own voice profile for free. Anyways, let's get started. So if you know little to nothing about AI, I'm gonna make a very quick introduction to it. AI stands for artificial intelligence and it means just that. Software simulating neurons for different purposes. Anyways, I'll go back to talking about voice sampling. Voice sampling is when pieces of a voice track are picked up by an AI and can reconstruct to make different words. Take this as an example. I just made, I like donuts and cheese. So if it's a bad example, it's just what I came up with. With some software, a human could cut out the end Take the S out of the donuts, separate do and not, and switch like with do and not, and you would have I do not like cheese. This is supposed to be similar, but instead, um, instead of a human editing, it, it would be an AI. A much intelligent AI can gather other pronunciations to make completely different words. If you compare me to an AI, I am very dumb in many aspects. So I took the exact phrase I said earlier in that video and edited it to make it look like I said I do not like cheese. Have a listen. I do not like cheese. Okay, I know it sounds completely manufactured. An AI is supposed to instead grab pronunciations from phrases and make a voice book. Not something like I did here. That's what's very interesting. Now I want you to see how AIs are much better at this. Have a listen to an actual AI with my voice sample saying that I do not like cheese. No, this AI has never been trained with the face I said earlier, so just so you can see how they advanced they are. I do not like cheese. It does sound robotic, but keep in mind that this was trained with a few samples. And I never mentioned that I liked donuts and cheese when I did it earlier. It sounded much better. If you're still not convinced, I will edit the audio the AI made to try and make it as close to my real voice. I do not like cheese. Okay, okay, that's a little better. Have a listen at both side by side. I do not like cheese. I do not like cheese. Okay, so as you can see, it's not the best, but if I train the AI, with more than a few hundred samples, and if I actually knew how to edit audio, this could actually work. Here's a few examples of how this can be used for good. First, better text-to-speech. With things like this, you can now customize your own voice to read text. This is very good for companies which want customization or things like that. I can see the use of it for people who aren't able to pronounce something. I think it's much, much easier to imitate a sound if it's very familiar. Take me from, for example. You probably have noticed that English is not my native, native language. It may help to pronounce certain words. Now I'll talk about some of the disadvantages and malicious acts this could be used for it. It may not involve sound impersonating. I've seen systems in which you have to authorize a purchase by voice. You could also use someone's identity to steal data. Take this for an example. Someone samples a voice from the CEO of a company, calls your secretary, says they, do, they have a different cell phone or something, and ask for confidential later. Another thing for what I could see this would facilitate a malicious use is to harass someone. If you, you could both, if you want that person you are impersonating to get in legal problems, or you want to harass someone and switch the blame to someone else. Now the final part. How can I as a viewer make my own voice? Well, that's it. 
I use a website named Lyrebird, and you'll need a couple samples to make your world voice program. Head over to Lyrebird.ai and make an account there. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you like, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel and hit that little notification bell. And comment on video suggestions or things you would like to see next. Bye. I do not like cheese.